Happy Halloween, everybody. Welcome to Sunday Facebook Live, Stampin' All Day with Deb. I'm gonna get started in about three minutes. I hope you had a fun holiday. Hi, Eva. It was beautiful weekend, a little chilly here today, not bad, but um, you know, just wearing um, long sleeves or sweats or something like that to keep you warm. Happy Halloween. Um, and I had one family trick or treat at my house. That's my nephew. He always does. His girls are teenagers now, but he does have a five, a six year old little boy. And um, so now the girls are, one of them brought her boyfriend and so um, I had the, the two girls and my little nephew and then one of the girls' boyfriends. So that was fun. Mom was thrilled to see them all. Hi, Louise. Happy Halloween, everybody. Hi, Bev. Don't know if we're going to have anybody here today. Well, we have you. You're important. But I mean, um, how we might have a few people. They might be out. I don't know. Um, but we'll just hang in there another couple of minutes and see. Two more minutes. I have quite a few things to talk about today. So I'm glad you're here, everyone. Hi, Lynn. Fun holiday for the kids. Everybody was pumped up and eager to go out trick-or-treating. So we talked for maybe 20 minutes and then away they went. New Jersey, it's amazing. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sprinkling. One more minute. I know um, my friend and customer Maria said that she's gonna have to watch the replay. Her daughter's a teenager and she looked adorable. They must be going to a party or something. So um, they're out having fun. I remember those days. I used to get home from work, throw on dinner real quick, get my kids in their costumes. And away we went. We always used to go out just when it was just starting to get dark. Um, and then we'd get home about eight-ish or so and everybody was exhausted. So fun times. All right, it's seven o'clock, let's get started. So let me see, I have so many things to talk about. I'm gonna talk about my next class. Um, hi, Corinna. Why am why are you here on Halloween? Because this is what we do, Corinna. Um, hi, Terry. So um, I want to announce my next class. I have um, my my the people that were in my class this month have seen what my next class is. But I have five more kits ready. If you want one, please let me know in the next either now or the next few days. Especially if I have to mail them to you, so you get them in time. My online class is on uh, November 18th because I usually do it the last week of the month, but um, that's uh, Thanksgiving. So I had to bump it up a week, so I'm preparing earlier. And this garland you see here, this is the next class. So um, let me read what you'll get in the class is the gingerbread men cut out. You'll get five. This has four here because the fifth one I'm gonna make online in front of everyone. Hi, Carol. The class is a $35 minimum order and use my host code uh, when I get it. I can't get that till tomorrow, so you can check back with me for the host code. And um, you will need to have your gingerbread and peppermint dyes if you are not coming in person to class. Hi, Connie. Um, you will need to have the uh, DSP, Gingerbread and Peppermint DSP, and ribbons and the black dots for their eyes. But all the embellishments, the little peppermints, all come in the designer series paper. You need dimensionals, liquid glue, daubers, cherry cobbler ink, cherry cobbler blends, um, Wink Estella and white embossing powder and the tool to follow along with me in class. And if you come to class in person, you definitely need your designer series paper. You can use my dies. You need your ribbons and your black dots. But uh, everything else will be here for you if you come to class in person. So that is November 18th online or in person, 2 o'clock. 
and let me know as soon as possible because I've got to cut out your uh, gingerbread men for you and get them in the mail. 35 minimum order to be in that online class. And I will show you them up close. they are um, got a lot of detail on them. And everybody that's seen them in person has fallen in love, as I did. But I am a gingerbread uh, man person. I think they're adorable. Okay, so I'm going to get down, uh, turn you down, turn the camera down. Facebook's back to normal now, again. So I don't know what happened the past two times, but it was way different. But now it's back to normal. Happy Halloween, Debbie. Welcome, for, welcome to uh, Stampin' All Day with Beth. Okay, let me turn you down. Okay, some of you have already sprinkled. I thank you so much for that. Let me get you over a little bit so we look more centered there. Pinky says hello. Hi, Carol. How are you? Okay. So when I, I'm going to start out by showing you some snail mail. Hi, Cookie. Happy Halloween. Oh, isn't this a beautiful card? This is from one of my second line, downline, and dear friend, Annie. Um, it was her birthday not too long ago, and she sent me this thank you card. I just fell in love with it. I do not have that set or the designer series paper, but boy, is it gorgeous, don't you think? So that was one snail mail. And then my other friend, Johnelle, she uh, sent me a Halloween card, and I thought that was just so sweet of her. And so I just wanted to share those online with you. Happy Halloween, everybody. Okay, so my monthly uh, open house is this coming Thursday. I didn't bother to look up the date, but it's this coming Thursday. And you know that um, if you come to open house, all you have to do is RSVP. It's a day of stamping and creating here in my shop. You can use my stamps, my dies, my tools. If you make a card using all my embellishments and things like that, then you pay me $3 per card. But we all get a make and take. And the make and take is absolutely free. And this is the make and take for this Thursday. I thought it was adorable. And again, I'm using the Eden's Garden dies the edens dies remember i talked about them at the beginning and said they reminded this this rectangle wreath reminded me of like a frame so there's all kinds of things you can put in within that frame so this is going to be the make and take thursday so just rsvp let me know you're coming bring a friend let me know they're coming because your rsvp ensures that you get a packet to make this card okay uh, I want to announce the winner of the last live. I made this card, and I showed you how to make this bow, and I placed it on one of our bags. So let's see who won either the card or the bag, whichever one she wants. And the winner is... Eva, congratulations, Eva. Eva, tell me what you want, the card or the bag with the bow on it, and I will drop that off to you. She lives just down the street from me, so I can do that very easily, probably tomorrow. Well, I will do that tomorrow. So just let me know, Eva, which one you want. Okay, have you fallen in love with Eden's Garden yet? It's a beautiful, beautiful set. If you haven't been here before, I'm noticing... You want the card, Eva? Okay. Um, I've noticed quite a few new names on here. So if you haven't um, been here before, Eden's Garden was released to Stampin' Up! Demonstrators this month, and it's opening up early to um, customers November 2nd. So I have been using it um, just to show you how far it can go and what you can do with it, all my ideas. So I'm going to continue on with that. There is a bundle. There is a, the collection. And what the collection means is that for $82, you get one of everything automatic. So you just put in that one code and, you can, and everything will come. Or you can get things separately. So here's the designer series paper. Here's the cotton paper. Hi, Judy. 
Here are the gems, and my gems just arrived yesterday, and they are gorgeous. When I ordered, tried to order the collection, uh, the gems were on back order, but they're here now, so you can get the collection. And um, so that is, the bundle is $52. If you order it in a bundle, you get 10% off, or you can get the stamp set or the die separately, and they're listed here as well, okay? Here is my host code for just tonight because today is the end of October. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness, things just go so fast. So if you want to place an order tonight, you'll get in a drawing for the October prize, which is the gold holiday leaves. Someone's going to win those. That's a random drawing, and I'll announce that at the next live because I did get an order this morning, and I might get more tonight. So... I have to let the whole month go by before I select a winner. You can also email me anytime, and you can watch on YouTube all my uh, replays. Okay, this is my store if you'd like to place an order with me. All righty. So what did I use this time? Well, since my gems came, I had to add them to my card. When I made the card the first time, I did not add gems because I didn't have them yet. So we use the garden gems. I use the stamp set, Eden's Garden, and the dies that uh, come with Eden's Garden. And I like to marry things together so you can use some of the product you already have. And um, I'm trying to read a, a comment. Every time I share, though. Thank you. Thank you, Cookie, for sharing. Um, I, want, I wanted to marry this collection with the detailed pumpkin dies because um, you lose the whole video every time you sprinkle. Every time I share, I lose your whole video. Well, that's odd. Huh. Well, then don't share. You can just tell your friends about me. Okay, so um, <clears throat> the, the pumpkin dies are gorgeous. Everybody fell in love with them, and so I, I knew everybody has these, so I thought I'd marry up my, today's card with those dies. So the other thing I've been doing is mason jars. This is a, a Halloween treat that I had under my tree in case anybody surprised us that I didn't know was coming. And um, look at, I used the leaves here and um the buffalo check designer series paper remember i told you i spray painted my hand black this is what i was spray painting black and this i just love this so i'm going to use this for all of fall you can add anything in in these jars so i'm going to use this all fall and in the past i showed you how to make a goodie treat out of cans i have two of those and then the card that Eva just won is what I showed last week and the bow. And this week, I am showing this card here. This designer series paper and the, and the detailed pumpkins, dies, and the colors are just gorgeous. I love the way the gold just sparkles in this paper and see how the gems added to the card. I used a little bit of lace there and I'm looking around, there it is, because I couldn't see my, my lace and it is, um, was under my stamp pad. It's the very vanilla scalloped lace trim. Just a little snippet of that on the card to make it a little, little feminine. And then the stamp set hello there is from the stamp set in Eden's Garden. Now, when you open up this card, you get a little burst, and it says, Dear friend, how are you? So let me show you what you need to make this card. You need a, thank you, Carol. You need a piece of two and a half by two and a half Whisper White cardstock for the inside there. 
Of course, you need your dies, and I've cut some of them out in advance. This is for the inside border. On this card, I used a piece of DSP as the border. On the card I'm gonna make right now, I'm gonna use uh, this border on the inside. The layer piece of designer series paper is the same layer piece as normal, typical four by five and a quarter, and you can choose either side. I just like the gold sparkle. And then there's a base of the um, soft succulent, and it is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So it's just a little bit bigger than the designer series paper for a second layer. The card base is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. So it all just goes together like that, really easy. And then the pop is a five and a half by five and a half inch square. So let's start there. I thought adding the pumpkins to this paper right now would be great since um, Halloween was today and Thanksgiving is coming up. So you can use these cards for Thanksgiving. So what you're gonna do to your five and a half by five and a half is you're just gonna fold it in half, burnish, fold it in half, burnish, then you're going to open it back up and fold it um, in an angle over like this and burnish. Then you want the angle um, line, score line, to be down, I believe. No, up. Okay. You want it to be up. And then once you push these, the, ang the diagonal line up, the rest of it just folds up for you like this. And then you want to burnish one last time. And that's all it takes to add, to make the inside. Now, the two squares that have the fold in it, of course, you don't want to use that for your decorative piece. You want a solid square there. So I'm going to choose this one here, this one or this one, the top one or bottom, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to go to my two and a half by two and a half Whisper White. I know I showed that first, so here it, here it is. And I'm going to stamp that with the stamps and the ink that matches the designer series paper and comes in the set. So this is the big floral again. Yeah, we have half the crew here um, tonight. Usually I have twice as many people here, if not more. You know, what's really funny to me when I'm doing the drawing, I look back and, it, and I see a lot more names um, I know some people watch the replay and aren't live. I know that. But it tells me I have a certain amount of people. And then when I, when I um, count them, there's a lot more. So I don't, I don't know why, why I don't see everybody when you're first on. Okay, so that's very light. And that's how I wanted it because I also want to add, Dear Friend, How Are You? So I'm going to take that stamp, and I want it to show up well, so I stamped the first image. Um, I stamped off and then stamped it because I want it to be lighter. There we go. Perfect. Clean my stamps. Clean the other one. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna move my stamp pad over and I'm gonna add this square here like that. And see what mistake I made? I wasn't paying attention and I forgot that I was supposed to stamp it at an angle. So let me do that real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys probably caught that before I did, huh? So at an angle, because it has to fit in the square with the point up and down. Okay. Make sure this is the right stamp. There we go. So I got to meet my niece's little boyfriend. Well, he's not little. He's, he's pretty tall. 
Um, and he was such a sweet young man. My nephew loves him, but says he's a great kid. So we're excited for her. And they just grow up so fast. You do stuff like this all the time. Hi, Virginia. Well, you know, I'm talking away, and I just wasn't paying attention. So now we'll take the base, and I will show you how to put this in. So you want to fold it down, and you want to put the point up to the score line, and you want to make sure that these two points are straight so when you open up the card, it's not crooked. Okay, so we're going to take some more glue. And to put the point up to the score line, my card is crooked, I should get it straight. And then I want to look to see that I'm even on both sides here, about even. Open it up so it looks good. And then put more glue here. Very simple. I'm sure you guys have done this before. If not, it's something new and fun to do. And I guarantee you the recipients are always surprised and happy when they open this up and see this pop. Now, this pretty border that comes with the dies, I thought would look gorgeous there, and you still have room to write a message. So I'm going to put some more glue down here at the bottom of this base, and place that down there. Oh, you know what else I have to tell you guys? I will not be here on, <clears throat> excuse me, I will not be here on Tuesday. Reason being, I, you know, I, I, it has to be very important for me to, to miss doing my lives. Um, so it is very important. I have a dear friend who has been my friend since first grade. Can you believe that? You have a friend since first grade? Yes, we went to school together since first grade. That's where we met, and we've been friends ever since. And she had a major surgery. Um, it's been a little over two weeks ago. And she needs to go to a post-op, and it's all the way in Sacramento. Hi, Karen Kirshner. So she can't drive yet, and she's not married, and she, you know, she doesn't, her parents have passed. and So anyway, um, I'm, I offered to help her with whatever she needed while she's recovering, and she's asked me to take her to her post-appointment. So I am going to do that. So I will not be here on, on um, Tuesday. And I have not decided whether I'll make it up on Wednesday or not. And Thursday, um, I um, have open house, so I definitely can't do it then. Hi, Bev. Missed the notification. We'll catch the beginning later. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you uh, saw it now. So here's the layer piece that goes on top. So I just wanted to warn you that um, I will not be here on Tuesday. But I'm going to show you the card that I made before I knew I wasn't going to be here on Tuesday for that. I think it's stinking cute. Um, we'll see what you guys think. Okay, so this gets layered down. So now here is the largest pumpkin. So pretty. And I need to cut the other pumpkins because I didn't do those in advance. So let me get my machine. I've got them all laying on there. Remember when I lost one of the leaves? Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I found it. I love this die set. Well, I love this whole set, the pumpkins. Just gorgeous. Okay, and I just remembered I've got to show you the detail in the gingerbread men. So 
I'm going to do my best not to forget at the end because until you see that detail, my manager, <clears throat> she loves them so much that she got a kit. So cute. She loves gingerbread men like I do, though. So there's the three leaves. Here's the pumpkin. And I thought I would do it in this um, soft succulent color because there are pumpkins of all colors out there. I have some heirloom pumpkins here at my house and everybody's commenting on how pretty they are. Okay, so for, um, for the lace, so see I put a little snippet of lace right in there, can you see it? There's a couple of ways you can do it. I'm gonna do it, let me put my dies away my little metal bowl. Okay, there's a couple of ways you can do it. I'm going to do it this time with a little piece of tear and tape. And I'm going to place it about here. And I'm using my silicone mat because this uh, ornate pumpkin, the adhesive, you know, can be, can go through the holes there very easily. So I don't want it to stick to my, my paper, my mat. So I'm gonna lift the paper. And then I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm just gonna cut a little piece. This might be too much. This is three inches. And I'm just gonna pinch and set it on to this tape to the tear and tape so pinch and gather pinch and gather pinch and gather and it's going to have leaves around it in um, the hide the end so don't worry about that you might want to take your take your pick tool and after you have it down like you want it you just press it down onto the tear and tape so it's very secure okay now, I love how these um, leaves have the little notch in them, so you can add them right into the pumpkin's stem just like that. It's so, I, it's so great, I just love that. When I first got them, that's why I was so upset I lost this little leaf, because it's like, oh my gosh, it's so perfect to fit with these stems, and I lost it. Well, it's back. There we go. Okay, I want this ribbon. So I was saying it's, I, I make it like three inches long and then I cut it down to what I need after I get it down. Okay, now the other leaf. This time I'm gonna use the big one. And I'm going to put a mini glue dot down here under the bottom of it here. And again, it hooks right in there. And you press it down. And you just watch that ribbon. Get it to stay on the tear and tape. Okay, so now I can place this down, and then I want the other pumpkin to go right over the top of that, and I'm going to add a leaf to that pumpkin. And then my beautiful gems, in fact, my husband just brought, him, brought me the mail today. He says, oh, I didn't check the mail yesterday. So they had been sitting out in the mailbox all night. I was so happy to see them this morning. They're very, very pretty. They 
It just totally added more shimmer and shine to this card. And then I chose to take two of the smaller ones and add them just at the neck of the leaves here. Now here, I debated whether I should put another round one on this leaf here, but remember our, our, our little rule about odd numbers. So if I added another one, that would be six. So I'm gonna leave it off again. Okay. So I'm gonna take some glue now, and I'm gonna add some back here where there's some substantial areas I can get glue on, and then just dab lightly in these little areas. Or you could use a sponge, tap glue on that way. Set this down. And then this one has tons of space for glue. And set that one down. And then I stamped Hello There, which is also in the stamp set. But I cut it out, I uh, fussy cut it, just because I didn't want it to be so big there. So trimming it down really worked. Just move your paper to get good detail there. You, I hope you guys had trick-or-treaters, or maybe maybe you didn't want any. I'm not sure, but I love handing out candy. We just don't get any here, so I missed that. Little bit of glue. And then you can just add, hello there. Dear friend, how are you? Isn't that great? Let me know what you guys think. I think I got some, uh, some stuff on my paper here, so it's on the back of my card. I'll just erase it off. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Thank you for the hearts. Okay, so we have two of those, and one will be given away at my next live. Okay, now I wanna show you real quick the detail in the gingerbread men, and then I wanna show you the card I was gonna make on Tuesday, but I'm gonna change this paper because I got sticky on it earlier. Okay, so like I said, you get five gingerbread men, but look at the detail on these guys. They're the cutest things. And I'm gonna show you how to make them on the class live. And if you're here, you're gonna make your whole gingerbread men, like there's gonna be five of them, but I'm gonna do the last one during the class, okay? So just let me know you wanna be part of the class so I can send you your packet. Now, what's in the, um, in the little white envelope you're gonna get are the holly leaves because I don't, know if everybody has the punch. So I did them for you. And for each one of the, your gingerbread men, all the holly leaves are in there. Okay. So back to this, what we made today. I'm glad you guys liked it. And let me show you what I was going to make for you on Tuesday. Gobble, 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 gobble. Now, is it bad that I have him on a cooling rack? <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. And a, um, a little, uh, oh, I forget what you call him right now, but a, a little turner. I thought this was the cutest thing. Thank you, guys. Um, I will show you how to make this another time. I don't want to keep you way too long. But this is all made with um, the... Gingerbread and Peppermint Memories and More Card Pack. 
So the memories in more card pack, spatula, thank you, has the cooling rack. My husband says, is that a turkey cookie? I said, no. Uh, let me see, did I get a question about the garland? I love the gingerbread swag. Oh, thank you. Cute gingerbread. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, so um, every, the background paper is in this kit too. I think it's behind this one. Yeah, see there? So you can make this, this turkey if you have the, if you get the gingerbread and peppermints, memories, and more card pack. But what are his little feathers? Do you guys know? Well, what's my focus? My focus right now is the Eden's Garden. So that oval, or that, I'm sorry, that rectangle garland wreath, that's what I used for his feathers. See there? So there is just so much you can do, and I hope to show you how to make this card soon. But when your friends need you, your friends need you, right? I know you guys would do the same. So thank you for your understanding in advance. And happy Halloween, and come back next week. And let me know if you're coming to open house so I can make a packet for your make and take. Show you that one more time in case you missed it. Here he is. Hello. <laughs> okay, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.